Hello, welcome back. Last time I did some shrooms and was reminded of how bad dream hypers are for me sometimes. Let's see if I can do them today. I hope so. Oh, right, okay. Music takes a moment to get going. Alright, so... Right, this fun little toy here. <laughs> Alright. So, mushroom there. Probably a dream hyper to the right, especially since there's a, um, that thing, dash crystal right there. That's a dream jump into ultra, I think. Hi, I saw you, apparition. Okay. Yeah, okay, more apparitions. Looking at that little spot there, the suspiciously spike-free... There's no way I could access it, though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, pretty sure. <laughs> it's worth pondering for a moment, though. Alright, so assuming I ultra and get a whole lot of speed there... There's a mushroom block here, so my next move is you want an upright dash into that. And probably a reverse dream hyper, oh no, into the mushroom rectangle. Reverse wave dash here with the shroom. Which means I'm going pretty fast. I dash upright, I get the. What? And then reverse bunny hop or something. Reverse mushroom bunny hop, so that's gonna go fast. Is that a core block? Like an icy one? Uh. Okay, so, I mean, I think that's just a wall bounce. And then climb up and the room is done. Okay. Alright, that's asking a lot, but let's see what happens. What happens is the Dream Hyper just does not work. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's the timing. Okay, maybe it does. Oh boy. Alright. Make sure you're making the inputs in the right order and at the right time. Both are important. Okay, I tried for an ultra, didn't manage to get it to happen. Okay, that was... I'm alive. I don't know where I am. Camera doesn't wish to show me. Real funny when game gets those camera hints to say, go way off screen, and like if I manage to stop and be safe. It's just like, where am I? Ah, Dream Hyper. You are the worst sometimes. I wish you weren't. Like, I'm doing the thing, as far as I know. But game has other ideas. No, I need to jump a little bit before I ultra there. No, I need to... Oh. Technically, I didn't there, but I should anyway. And what was that? What was that? Like, why was that not a hyper? Ugh. Theoretically, I like this move. It just doesn't work for me. Like, why is it so incredibly inconsistent? I'm like, this is a great level, with a great vibe that I love, it's just, it's ruined by my inability to do the thing that is the main action in it. Doesn't feel like it's the level's fault, it's just, it's my fault. But I don't have anything it seems like I can do about it. I'm just stuck like this. <sighs> Forever. Every once in a while the Dream Hyper will come out. Uh, 
Every once in a while, and then I won't be ready because it's been so long since I saw the situation beyond. I'm like, I'm doing exactly what I told myself to do last time. I'm picturing my feet on the bottom of those spikes. I'm dashing down right at that time. Or the top of those spikes. But just, it so rarely comes out. And here I'm in this spot again. Okay, I made it there. It also doesn't help that I spend so little time in that dream block, like, so I don't get a lot of time to prepare myself for, like, watching my position to see when I'll be coming out of it. So, does it matter that I'm... whether I come out the top or the side? That does change the timing, I'm pretty sure. So I'm kind of airing left so I'm sure I come out the top. It's not helping. Are my dash and jump inputs too far apart? Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong today. Because I was separating them pretty... by a lot. Okay, I think that was the problem. Yeah, okay. Getting something a little bit closer to consistency here. I don't think that's the way I want to go. I think I need more speed. Like, I'm... My ultra's not being good enough. Why is that? Is it because I'm not getting the, uh, the shroom jump good enough? Hold on, or do I want to... Oh, no, what I want to do... Is that a, um... No, no, it's not. Like, I've been fast enough for that, I think. Like, I do want... Hmm. Hmm. Like, I just don't have this enough speed ever. I don't know how to get more. Okay, technically that worked, but that was pretty rough. Okay, yeah, I was just separating my inputs too much, so that was the issue there. It's just, there's too many things that can go wrong with Dream Hyper, and they all look the same, so I don't know which thing I'm doing wrong. That almost worked. <sighs> I don't know how to be more consistent with the amount of speed I'm getting from the uh, Ultra. Seems like I'm just gonna get the speed that I get, and like, sometimes that's just not enough. Maybe I can spend a little more time on the ground? That's hard to control. But yeah, okay, that actually might be the problem though. I might just be getting a wave dash there instead of an ultra. Because I am pressing the jump button again pretty quick. Yeah, see that was an actual ultra and that worked great. Okay, I think that's what was happening. Okay. Yeah, see that? I didn't spend time on the ground. There we go. Um, time was spent on the ground, but it was too much, I guess. Alright, so remind me what I'm doing if I theoretically ever manage the rest of this. I can swim in that water. Well, hold up. I want to swim in that water. I don't know how this author is going to hide secrets. But, like, I can go here. Doesn't seem like I can get anywhere. There's, like, a, there's a wall to touch. It's a little hard to touch, but I'm intrigued. Hold up. Let's see, if I would... Hmm... I don't jump high enough there. Like, I'm looking at that one to my right. I need to ditch the shroom there. 
There's probably nothing there, but it is suspicious that it's spike-free and it's a thing I can touch. And again, I feel like it's necessary to probe at things like this until I know how the strawberries are tend to be hidden. Problem is, I don't think I can get in there unless... Okay, I have one idea. Yeah, that might be the way. I think there's an angle that makes that possible. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. I touched it. It's nothing. Yes, it's something! Hello! It is something! Okay. But it's closed. Is there a switch if I go in the other... S if I do like a uh, crouch dash there, does that go somewhere? No. Well, what about this incredibly suspicious spot I just noticed? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I gotta get in and back out, so I need to, like, not touch the floor or be really quick or something? Oh, if I jump and crouch dash, I can escape there. Okay. Well, now hang on. Forget this room. We're doing something else now. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, right. No, I have to do that every time, of course. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Now, how did I do that? There we go, like that. Okay. Uh, there we go. Alright, I'm somewhere. What did I find? Um, I don't know. A uh, mushroom garden, that's what I found. Ah! Well, I wanted to spend some more time in the mushroom garden. Okay, I don't think there was a strawberry there, but it was unclear. So let's go back and make sure. Okay, now that I know how, it's not the hardest thing to get in there. Ah, I need to veer left a little more. See, I jump a little bit, and I crouch dash to the left, and sometimes it works. I need to be both not on the ceiling and not on the floor there, just at some indeterminate in-between spot. So if I just fall down, I land in a mushroom garden. That water there takes me back, secretly. Well... It's a lot of mushrooms. The camera's going farther and farther to the right. My controller is rumbling out of control. I feel like I was supposed to do something to gain speed here. Like, there's some way I can... Yeah, okay, I'm gaining speed. Oh, all the pause frames. Okay, there's something going on here. How do I... Like, I lose it at a certain point. Like, if I just try to buffer a jump on the water... It just kind of doesn't. Oh, I think I know the issue, though. Hmm, maybe not. Uh, okay, how does this work? Uh, if I keep tapping the jump button, I keep getting more speed, but, like, I don't think I'm getting the speed I need. Uh, if I had the speed I need the, needed, the camera would probably show me myself. But 
clearly I do not, and I lost it. So, like, every time I tap the jump button, I seem to get a little more... Like, it's not that simple. My dashes do need to be involved. Can I just dash, jump, dash, jump? Doesn't seem like it. If I dash down and right and jump, it's going a little better than it was. Hmm. Uh, now hang on, I might have something. If I ignore the water and just try to wave dash on the, uh... Mm. Just kind of holding down right and alternating buttons a whole lot. It's not really working. Okay, what else could I try here? Because there's water involved, I don't really understand what I'm doing. Hang on, but if there's... If there's water involved, I can continually dash. Like, if I stay really low... Since it pauses every time I get a mushroom, it's hard to tell how fast I'm actually going. But I assume, like, if I were going fast enough, I'd be able to see myself. Alright, so I lost it there. Do I need to be doing grounded ultras? I don't remember how those work. Hmm. Part of the issue is I don't really understand the mushrooms. They say something about jumping out of dream blocks and like jumping out of water seems to have the same effect. Like I go for a while but then I just, I'd stop at some point. Now hang on, so what I do want to do is probably set up... Well, I feel like that went a little better than usual. Still can't see myself though. And I've stopped. Oh, what was that? I'm just mashing both buttons at the same time while holding down right. I don't think it's doing anything good for me. And I'm not seeing any hint of something way over there. Okay, so let's just figure out how to accelerate. So I'm holding down right and nothing's happening. So maybe I can't hold down right the entire time. So I press it and I tap the jump button a whole lot. But then I just lose it at some point. Like I'm not gaining more speed as I do this. Is it a timing thing? Do I want to like hit the bottom, swim back up, and then do another dash down? That was kind of what it seemed like. Like, what is it that causes the speed gain? That's what I don't get. See, if I restarted the chapter to reread the... the tip about how the mushrooms work, then I, I wouldn't be here anymore. So I don't want to do that.
I lost it. And why did I lose it there? Like, I'm not gaining speed as much as it wants me to. This is just completely inscrutable. And I just, I just stop at some point. What? Seems to go best if I just mash both but buttons continuously. Holding down right. Alright, I'm mashing a lot harder now. Not helping. I don't have any landmarks, so I don't know where I am in the track ever. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, is it? <laughs> Maybe I should? Yeah, I don't know, just like, puzzle out this inscrutable thing. No instructions, just, just figure it out, somehow. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, I have a uh, special advantage here. If I want to reread the text, I have a record of that. So I'm gonna go look at what it said. Alright, so I'm looking at it now. Uh, interestingly, it does say cab log entry number two, but cab both of the- Whoa! What am I looking at here? Okay, there's my own voice. <laughs> that was confusing. <laughs> so, right, they do say- they both say number two. I don't know if there was a number one I missed, but there are two number twos at the very least. Looks like these refills multiply the speed of my next dash. They work well with these strange dreamy blocks in my signature wave dash technique. And then second number two says... Dream jumping before the next dash into a dream block really boosts speed. So there's no dream block involved. These refills multiply the speed of my next dash. Okay, they multiply the speed of my next dash. That's what it says. Alright. Knowing that doesn't really help me with uh, my problem here, does it? Well, let's get back in there and try more things. Like, I can just try other random stuff and hope I land on something working. That's about all I really have at this point. I could play the rest of the level and come back here, but that has a significant cost I don't want to pay. Okay, multiply the speed of your next dash. So, like, I need to do a water wave dash, but I need to not lose speed in the water. So maybe the issue is I'm just not buffering my jump well enough to get out of the water. Like, that was a lot more speed when I'm thinking about dashing on the surface of the water. Hmm, maybe I need to hold the button for longer. Maybe I need to super? Can I super on the water? I don't think I can. No, I think water super might be impossible. So water waves. But like, okay. How? Like I can do it for a bit, but then I just lose it because I sink in the water for some reason. I can't stay on the surface of the water for long enough. That was kind of it, but then I just stopped. It was like I hit an obstacle. So I think staying high is the key. <laughs> okay, I think I get my goal now. Okay, I can't explain what I did, but I did it. Can I explain? Let's attempt. So the point is to get as high up above the water before I start my next dash as I can, and then hold the jump button to go up outside the water. If I end up underneath, I need to swim up and then hold to get a lot of height, so just always dash from really high up. <sighs> like, I was doing it okay for that one time. Uh-huh. Kinda, okay. 
just I have to dash from as high as I can. <sighs> okay, uh, that was kind of good. Just I sink too far below the water. I don't know how to avoid that. How far do I need to go? Can I hold down right this whole time? Or will that not work? No, because that makes me swim down and my jump input no longer swims out of the water. Oh. Can I dash upright and then downright? Mm, I don't think so. No, that will interrupt my speed because... Right, remember the Ultra Principle. I must not do that. Because... Ultras work because speed is not reset for down diagonal dashes. Yes! Okay, there we go. I saw the thing. It sounded like a heart. Okay. So I saw the thing, I just needed to hold the climb button. I don't think that's a strawberry. I think this is the other kind of secret here. All right, I can do it. <laughs> Not very well, but eventually maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's very good. That'll do it. It didn't. Paws of the Mushrooms makes it a little easier to theoretically judge when I can switch from tapping to holding. Okay, I'm just not using that very well. Also, no landmarks, so I don't know how close to the end of the runway I am ever. Alright, let me put this into words. When I press jump, I gain a little bit of height. When I press jump multiple times, like during this... Oh, wait a second. So, what I need to do is... So I'm all the way down at the bottom of the water. I press jump and I hold, nothing happens at all. I'm at the surface of the water, I press jump and hold, I get that high. Hold on, so two jump inputs spread apart far enough. Yeah, so I need to be able to press and hold and be out of the water. So I need to judge my height and figure out when that press and hold can take me out of the water. Okay, I think I was able to switch from tapping to holding earlier than I thought, and maybe I can use that to uh, help me out. In practice, that doesn't really help, though. Up. Up. Yes. No, oh, if I had dashed, maybe. This could be good if I can keep it going. Maybe I can. Well, I saw it for a second time. I did press the climb button, but it didn't help. This feels really bad to execute. Cool to see all that speed when I... Well, okay, then lightning struck. So it's like it thought I made it, but I didn't. Ooh, that's a good start. Ooh, that was a very good... Okay. So... Okay, so what I did there was I started my ultra earlier. Like I did an actual ultra instead of just one of these little half-hearted things I had been doing. Maybe that helped. That does help. Okay, that's better. So I think basically, like, it's a tug of war between the water's deceleration and the multiplication of the, the dashes I can manage to do when I'm out of the water. No, I'm, I'm doing the bad ultra again. So just minimize time spent in the water. That's why I need to be so much higher up above it and make sure my jumps are good. 
I just wish there were any indication of when the track is ending. Oh, got stuck in water. Get it! I made it! I'm here! I did it! Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> so, here's the thing. It makes a monkey noise. It's with me now. Okay, well that's not a strawberry. I don't know what I got. Okay, well, I'm here. I saw you, whatever you are. I got the little monkey thing. It's still with me. It disappeared. What, do I have to do that again? Like, what is this? Does it just disappear after a moment? Or, like, is there actually something to this? If you really want me to do that again... Apparently I will. <laughs> really? 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 I mean, my... my guess is that that thing does nothing. But the fact that it disappeared when I left the room that way, but it stayed with me across the transition, does make me wonder. Well, I saw you. Wait, was the thing gone? Now that it went schwing, is it just no longer obtainable? Yeah, he doesn't have it anymore. That thing is gone. So once per visit to the level, huh? I want to get a closer look. Ugh. Nope. Ah. Oh, that counted. Okay. Okay, so yeah. Heart sound, but artifact is gone. Uh, it made the monkey sound again. Do I invisibly have it? Thing is, like, it's gone. It already poofed. Yeah, I don't, don't have anything with me. It did not make the noise there. Okay, so, yeah. Alright, so it feels like, basically, like, that's some kind of inside joke or something. But, like... Since I'm not in on the joke, it just ends up being at my expense. I don't know, I guess I saw something cool. I didn't really... I sort of learned something about swimming in the water, but... Eh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that experience. Alright, next time, second half of this room, I guess. I'll see you then.